What is up, design family, and welcome back to another episode of Fit Design TV. As always, so glad to have you lovely folks back on the channel. On today's episode, I've been giving you guys my top TikTok and Instagram real ideas as a sportswear brand in 2023. That way, you can showcase the best of what your collections have to offer in an engaging way, and ultimately in a way that makes sense for this day and age. As creators, as designers, we always need to be up to date. We need to know what landscape we're operating in. And as someone who's designed and worked with tremendous amounts of different designers, I know what needs to work and what needs to happen from a content creation standpoint. These are things that we've created internally in-house as a fashion design company and things that we've seen our clients and other brands that we look up to create and some internal insights from my own experiences. So if you're interested in what specific examples of content you can create today to showcase your brand, to attract a new audience, to sell an existing customer and to bring in a new customer, well, this is going to be the episode for you. Welcome to Fit Design TV. Are you interested in sports fashion, design, and manufacturing? Are you establishing your own brand? You are looking good. Anthony, how are we doing? Do you want to? Thank you. Well, you've come to the right place. Lights, camera, action. We'll start off with idea number one. You're and you have designed a full collection and you want to showcase that full collection. How do you manage in a 10 to 15 second reel or TikTok to be able to showcase all of that? Well, the answer to this is transitions and how creative you get with these transitions really has to do with how far ahead you plan. When you have a collection, create different outfits and create and style different transitions between these outfits. There's a phenomenal amount of different resources that you can tap into online to see how these transitions can happen. They can either be in-camera transitions or they can be post-production transitions where you're masking things in, masking things out, but a little bit of foresight goes a long way. So let's use a specific example where you use a physical transition. This can be someone throws you a hoodie from out of screen, you, for some reason, the hoodie clips into you. You are all of a sudden wearing that hoodie. You do a twist transition. In that twist transition, you're able to do a post-production camera shake. And now all of a sudden you're in outfit number two. Outfit number two, look at your camera. All of a sudden you remove your shirt. You have your shirt in hand. That's transition number three. Transition number four, throw the shirt towards the camera. And then all of a sudden you're in transition number five. So you're able to switch seamlessly between different outfits simply by thinking ahead. We've done a lot of these different types of outfit transitions on our Instagram profile. So I'll put up a bunch here, but get creative with it. Think a little bit ahead, but it's a fun way to engage your audience, keep them under 15 seconds and make the transitions reasonable enough. You don't have to go crazy with the transitions and you can build up towards more and more complicated transitions as you progress. Idea number two is either film a reel or a TikTok where you have a singular piece that is essentially a central point of your collection and showcase how you're able to style that piece in different scenarios. Whether that is a graphic tee showcasing the versatility of that specific t-shirt in more casual and more sports performance oriented scenarios, you can have something that is either a silent music based transition. So it's essentially a model posing in these outfits with transitions, showcasing how that same piece can be actually be styled in different scenarios with different accessories, with different bottoms, with different headgear, just showcasing that garment in a tremendous different amount of scenarios or you can have a voiceover. With that voiceover, you can narrate. You could say, hey, with this hoodie, I believe you can get a more performance-oriented aesthetic by styling it with a pair of woven cargo joggers. Style these joggers with these kinds of shoes, so on and so forth. Maybe give three or four different examples of that same garment in different outfits to showcase its flexibility. Idea number three, specifically for new sports or brands, is showcase different outfits for different gym days. As we know, most of us are regimented onto different gym workouts. You might have a push day, you might have a pull day, you might have a legs day, you might have a cardio day, you might have a boxing day. For each of these different days, sure, you'll be wearing sportswear, but the demands of your activity or your workout will demand you to wear specific things. For a leg day, you may go for a pair of line shorts with a built-in compression liner. For a chest day, you may want a little bit less coverage. You may want to wear a stringer that's able to allow you to get a better pump. So each of these days, you'll have a little bit of a different outfit. So instead of doing different outfits for different days of the week, like a more fashion forward company might do, you might do 
different outfits for different gym sessions or different gym workouts, showcasing how your brand is able to tap into and to satisfy the varying needs of your sportswear customer. Next concept is showcase your full unboxing experience. Take a customer from start to finish once they receive the package of what they could expect. Why is this important? Well, most likely if you follow this channel for a while, you have curated and made a perfect customer unpackaging experience, but your customers are never going to get the opportunity to be able to experience that unboxing experience if they don't go ahead and make a purchase. So show them what they're about to get. Take them through the process of receiving the delivery, how fast it's going to be, what the box looks like. What is the unboxing experience as you go through the polymeter, as you extract the product sleeve? This is going to give them the ability to see in advance what they can expect and for you to pre-benefit from all that hard work that you put in into crafting and curating an amazing packaging experience. And you can call out specific things that they may even miss during that experience. I'll give you guys a specific example. In our brand that we built, Spectre, our unboxing experience was paramount. We crafted the most meticulous unboxing experience, sometimes a little bit too meticulous, where certain things can be lost in the weeds. Once you open up our hang tag, we have a founder's card that is meant for the first 100 people to purchase from our brand. At the same time, there's an instruction manual that is hidden within the hang tag itself that instructs our customers on the key highlights of the products. From a fabric perspective, from a detail perspective, there's so much detail that goes into. On the other side of the hang tag, you have a sticker that you're able to tap into to use and to put on your MacBook. You may not know this if you just threw the hang tag away without any attention to detail. So this is how I get my customers to know what I'm offering them before they even go ahead and make the purchase. The next idea is to show a sort of before and after experience of what your customers can expect before they take part in your brand and actually purchase from your brand and after. So you could show them their boring, old, ordinary gym wear or sportswear outfit that lacks creativity, that lacks the uniqueness, that lacks the functionality. And then you can show them in stark contrast what they can expect if they become a customer of brand XYZ. By creating that contrast, that sort of before and after, you're really able to hone in on what makes you unique and what the value add proposition of your brand is. It's a simple concept, but with an effective transition, you can really drive that idea home. Last but not least is tap into trending sounds and trending montage clips in order to showcase a ton of your different studio and actual model photography for your brand in easy to format ways. We know that Instagram and TikTok are changing. They're always updating their algorithms. What customers, what viewers are responding to on a day-to-day -day basis is always changing and we need to be in line with that. Before, you could take all these beautiful photos and showcase them on your feed, but in general, that's now not how people engage with content as we put it online. So what do you do with all that beautiful photography that would have applied maybe just a year ago? Well, you montage it. You use trending sounds to be able to still showcase all of these images that you've taken in a way that makes sense for the current state of affairs. There's so many different sounds out there that you most likely have seen before. And with simple templates that you can use both from Instagram and TikTok themselves, the templates are pre-built you can add all of the photography. And these are very simple ways to repurpose existing assets that you've already taken into new and relevant types of content. So to conclude, what do we learn from this episode? Well, I've given you guys specific examples of things that are currently working in 2023, but always the landscape is changing since day one. My personal relationship to the content I've created has always changed. I've always been attuned to how people are engaging and interacting with content. And as a design agency, not even as a fashion brand, as a design agency, this has served me tremendously. Just think of what the abilities of a fashion brand with a accessible product, with a great product can do if you're aware of what people are emotionally responding to, actually telling your story in ways that are engaging and actually captivating. So guys, don't delay. Don't hold this high standard up in your mind. So many people don't even get started because they tell themselves that there's no point in even trying because I can't achieve this specific standard that I see by creator XYZ. At the end of the day, you just need to put points on the board and keep pushing forward and watch yourself get better and better over time. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, let me know what other ideas or what other TikTok or real ideas you would have included in this list that you guys personally think that our viewers can benefit from. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please consider smashing a massive thumbs up. It really does help us out. It keeps us motivated to keep creating this content for you. From the very bottom of my heart, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Fit Design TV. Until next week's episode, stay awesome.